Disc golf is a sport where you battle other players and the elements. Like most outdoor sports, you're at the mercy of Mother Nature. In a sport with so many variables, factoring in the weather forecast for the day adds a new challenge. It's important you understand the basics of the sport as well as what weather conditions impact it the most. The rules of disc golf are pretty straightforward. Like normal golf, you have a certain number of strokes to make it in the hole. However, in disc golf, you have to make a disc, similar to a frisbee, into a chained basket. Many people think that players just use any old frisbee to play, but in reality, there are many types of discs a player can use. There are fairway and distance drivers, mid-range discs, and putters. Different types of discs have different flight paths, and they accomplish different things. Wind greatly affects disc flight. Seasoned players know exactly what disc to use and when, depending on whether there's a tailwind, crosswind, or headwind. Professional disc golf player Jeremy Colling explains the difference between types of discs. We have different drivers that are meant to fly really far, and some of them fly great with tailwinds. Some of them fly great with headwinds. Uh, the, when, you when you throw a disc into a headwind, its tendency to turn against its natural flight characteristics um, are exaggerated. And the opposite is true with a tailwind. So we have to select different discs based on the direction of the wind and the severity of the wind. Discs can also have unique flight paths. Flight paths have to do with stability and release angle. It can go hyzer, flat, and hyzer, but also overstable, neutral, or understable. Stable discs usually fly straight when it's released flat. Understable means the disc will turn over to the right when released, and overstable goes towards the left. The unpredictability of disc flight is hard enough, but having to factor in when is a whole different story. That, combined with dodging trees, bodies of water, and other obstacles can make playing disc golf very frustrating. After learning the basics, it's easy to understand why disc golf is so weather dependent. That includes wind, cold, hot, um, humidity, uh, altitude. It all really comes into uh, every single little thing affects the way that a disc flies and, um, you know, when it's cold, it's hard to grip the disc. So that, that becomes a factor. And when it's raining, obviously the rain affects the grip on the disc. And so there's a, you know, we're very, very weather dependent in our sport. Rain is an obstacle disc golfers dread. First, a wet disc is more likely to slip and go awry. Without a solid grip, there is much less control over the disc. The flight path itself won't be affected by the falling raindrops, but the release could be a problem. Usually, professionals just pack many towels to keep the disc as dry as possible. A wet course can also just be a nuisance. It will get you and your disc sturdy, and it could cause you to lose your footing when throwing. It's not impossible to play in rainy or windy conditions, but it does make playing more difficult. The same goes for playing in cold or snowy weather. It's hard to get a good grip on a disc when it's really cold outside and your fingers go numb. Only gloves specifically made for disc golf are allowed to be worn. The freezing conditions can also make the plastic in the disc much stiffer, which is bad when you hit rocks or trees. The disc could even shatter if it's cold enough when it strikes an obstacle. When there is snow on the ground, it's very easy to lose discs in the snowpack. Using bright colored discs is one way to help find them in the snow. However, be prepared to lose a disc or two until the snow melts. Other tips for playing in the snow include taping a colorful ribbon to the disc or spraying colored powder or die onto the disc in order to locate it. On the opposite end of the weather spectrum, playing in extreme heat is very dangerous without proper hydration. Pack plenty of water and sunscreen and play with another person or group to check on each other. With how much walking you do, it's easy to get dehydrated and when you factor in high temperatures, heat exhaustion and heat stroke are very possible, especially in hotter locations. Be conscious of how hot the weather will be when you go play and be prepared. Don't play when there is lightning and thunder uh, detected within five miles. Um, we're close to, obviously our baskets are made out of metal. And so we don't take any risks with that. Um, the, the next condition that we will suspend play for is uh, really extreme wind. If we're playing in a wooded course, that might be dangerous for limbs falling down and whatnot. So. Those are pretty much it, though. Um, disc golfers get out in pretty much all conditions. It's just maybe not optimal. When the weather cooperates, disc golf is a great way to get outside and be active. It's a low-impact activity that adds a little more fun to something like hiking.
optimal playing conditions if you want to have the most control over your shots low wind um somewhere between 60 and 80 degrees outside uh and that's about it you know you really just want low wind and no extreme heats no extreme cold uh i think that's probably optimal for most sports but definitely that's what we're looking for in disc golf before going out to play be sure to familiarize yourself with the weather forecast in order to optimize your game Pack the essentials like water, sunscreen, and towels, and be sure to practice in all kinds of conditions. Most courses allow you to check conditions on an app like UDisc, where other players can report on what the course is like. For the weather conditions, rely on a variety of weather apps on your phone or your trusted local meteorologist. Professionals know to check the forecast, so you should too. I didn't used to check the forecast when I was younger in my career, but as I've become a savvy vet, I make sure I know exactly what I need on the course. I don't want to ever be left on the course without the number of towels I need. Or if it's going to be chilly in the morning, but get hot in the afternoon, I don't want to go out there with a pair of pants on because I'm going to be roasting. So I definitely make sure I know what we're approximating for the weather conditions for the round and I, uh, I prepare accordingly. Whether you're a seasoned professional or a beginner, disc golf is a great opportunity to get outside and enjoy all nature has to offer as long as you're prepared and the weather cooperates. For the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, I'm Caroline Castora.